Hey guys, and welcome to a new video of Bitcoin Edge. Today we'll take another look into the charts. And um, Elon was tweeting again. Well, uh, yeah, I guess we all know what that means nowadays. Um, S&P 500 dumped a little and is pumping right now. Same for the Nasdaq, um, same for gold. Um, however, the Dixie dumped quite bigly. Um, I saw this happening. I saw this breaking out. And that is how I basically longed the bottom for Doge and Ethereum. Um, I think the low is in uh, for Bitcoin and uh, crypto in general right now today um, after Elon's dumping. Um, and that's basically a correlation longs, you know. Uh, I'm just, I just longed it because the Nasdaq and the S&P 500 went up and the Dixie went down. That is why I longed a close look at the Dixie over here. Um, we really want new lows um, over here. And that is basically it. Dollar go down, everything go up. That is basically it. Um, looking at Bitcoin over here at the chart, uh, multiple ways you can draw these lines. Uh, I think this is valid as well. Um, since this bottom, you know, the lows were um, different from each exchange. Uh, Coinbase, for example, held 30K. Um, I believe Binance held 30k as well from my head, but Derivates, you know, went under it a lot. So this line seems more uh, valid to me. Um, and Elon tweeted it at Perfect, the um, yeah resistance, I would say. So this is where we are in right now. We also broke a trend line over here. You can see it very clearly over here. Uh, broke this one, did a retest on it, and right now we touched support. And this is what it looks like. Um, how does it look in the four hour? I mean, it looks like a reversal candle, uh, very low one, but it looks like a reversal candle. Um, I'm expecting upside again from here. Uh, we had quite a wipe in open interest as well. You can see over here on Bybit. Bybit usually houses the um, Apes is what we call them, since they use a lot of leverage and predicted fundings and current fundings are negative on BitMEX. BitMEX gives me the clearest um, indication of the market. Um, Bybit is still neutral, so that is good, meaning liquidity is still to the upside. Make sure to also follow me on Twitter, guys. I sometimes post some trade uh, setups and stuff like that. Um, make sure to subscribe and leave a like, of course. Um, so yeah, I'm expecting upside again, uh, expecting us to go somewhere here. Um, for me, the target is still 40k and again, we had a higher low. So um, if we break this low, we break this trend line. I mean, yeah, then it's over for summer for me, you know. Um, I am trading quite carefully. Um, because you know a little tweet of elon doing so much damage now is not cool um but for now i think we go back to this upper trend line over here uh horizontal resistance at basically 39k and i think we go there again so that is that um ethereum broke out could be seen as a bearish retest but i think it just follows bitcoin back to the upside had a trend line break here as well you can clearly see it over there um, but for now, the four hour looks great. Um, this was a little doji, you know, and right now we're, I don't know, I want to see an engulfment of this one over here. But um, yeah, same for uh, Ethereum BDC. A little bit of a trend line over here, looking to break that one. It's looking very good still. Um, Ethereum BDC basically needs to hold 0.07. Uh, if it does that, you know, as long as it does that, I'm bullish. Uh, Doge, Doge, of course, on a three minute. Yeah, I use that to trade on. I mean, this is what I'm seeing for Doge. Uh, Newt, quite a big support over there. Big support, of course, is at 31 cents. You can see it in the VPVR over here. But I would really like to see it bounce over here. Um, reversal, Doji as well. Um, if it closes like this, it doesn't look that good as Bitcoin and stuff on a lower time frame. 
Um, had a big pump, but started bleeding a little bit too hard, I think, uh, after such a nice pump. It reverses a bit too much. So be careful, put your stops, you know, on the daily low. That is 0 0.35. Um, Doge Bitcoin, I mean, if this support gives way, uh, I don't know, I, I cannot pronounce it, you know, too many zeros in front. But if this, um, this support gives away, it is very bearish. This is a bearish pattern, um, and that's basically all I want to say about it. If this one gives away, you know, get out, stay away. Um, that's bad. Uh, MTA, other coins, I mean, looking good. Didn't dump that much as... Uh, I did do it. Yeah, sorry. Looks good on lower time frame, uh, four hour, but already observing this, you know, quite a safe long to 160 again, I would say. Silica dumped a little bit harder. Not looking that juicy. And really, today's low, you know, if it gives in, uh, get out. That's all I can say. Support here from the VPVR, but I mean, if they break today's low, get out. That is all I can say. Dot support over here seems to be tested perfectly, uh, but four hour is not looking. Oh yeah, it's you know it's grinding down a little bit. Get out if they crash uh, or crack twenty three dollars, um, and that already is about it. This video is um, made uh, I think uh, two hours before uh, publication. Um, or no even a bit more so right now it is 14 hours utc so keep that in mind i'm betting upside i think the low is in for today keep an eye on the boomer stocks um, they look fine um, expecting um, crypto to follow the same and that is about it for today guys make sure to subscribe leave a like leave a comment and if you want to trade and buy a bit make sure to make an account with my referral link in the video description. I'll see you guys again tomorrow.